What's up guys, you're watching India Today Tech. I'm Rahul Sethi and in this video, I'm going to compare these two phones, the Xiaomi Mi A2 and the Nokia 6.1 Plus. These were two greatly anticipated phones before their launch. The Mi A2 because of its stock Android interface and the fact that it was a successor to a great phone, the Mi A1. And the Nokia 6.1 Plus because it packs all the greatness of the Nokia 6.1 and has a premium look and feel to it with the glass pack. You get the Nokia 6.1 Plus at 15999 and the Mi A2 at 16999 both for the 4GB, 64GB variants. But what are the differences and which one is a better pick of the two? Let's find out in this video. So let's begin with the design part of these two smartphones. The two differences that you would notice straight away is that the Nokia 6.1 is a much smaller phone. It has a notch display which makes it quite handy and easy to use with one hand. And secondly, it has a glass back. It has a metal frame, but more glass is used on the phone. While on the Mi A2, you'll find there is no notch. It's a usual thin bezel design display, and it is fully made out of metal. It's a full metal unibody design, and this gives it a very solid and reassuring feel in the hands. Now, obviously, the Nokia 6.1 Plus looks like a more premium design. Most phone companies nowadays have moved on to this design be it the OnePlus or even Samsung or Apple. The notch design is also latest and futuristic. While Xiaomi sticks to the usual design on the Mi A2 like we saw on the Redmi Note 5 Pro as well. Now there are drawbacks and plus points to both these designs. The Nokia 6.1 sometimes feels that it would slip out of hand while the Mi A2 gives you a very reassuring feel and a good grip in the hands. And it's also slightly thinner and not very heavy. So it's also not very difficult to use. But there are some small differences as well that you should note. Firstly, while using the phone with one hand, you'll see that the fingerprint scanner is not properly placed on the Nokia 6.1 Plus. My resting position of finger is this, while it's easily accessible on the Mi A2. Secondly, if you talk about the slots, you'll see the Nokia 6.1 Plus has an expandable storage slot, while you don't find it on the Mi A2. Also, Another disadvantage, a big disadvantage to Mi A2 is that it doesn't have a 3.5mm audio jack which is available on the Nokia 6.1 Plus. You get Type-C USB port, you get bottom speakers, you get dual microphones for noise cancellation but there is no headphone jack on the Mi A2. Now if you talk about the display, the Nokia 6.1 Plus seems to have a smaller screen but the difference is not major. The Nokia 6.1 Plus has a 5.8 inch display, it's full HD panel and the aspect ratio is 19 is to 9. While the Mi A2 has a 5.99 inch display, it's also full HD plus in resolution and has an 18 is to 9 aspect ratio. While I won't say the color on both the displays are accurate, it's closer to accurate on the Nokia 6.1 Plus and overall also the display is slightly sharper, better in contrast and brightness levels. If you talk about the touch experience, it is slightly smoother on the Nokia 6.1 Plus, which is quite surprising because the Mi A2 has a Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which is supposed to be better in performance compared to the Nokia 6.1 Plus that has a Corning Gorilla Glass 3, both on front and the back. But you won't feel the difference unless you compare them side by side. The difference is very small and the Mi A2 in fact has a very smooth touch experience as well. The notch display on the Nokia 6.1 is also properly optimized. When you are viewing apps, you'll see information is not eaten up in the notch area. And if there is an application that doesn't utilize the notch area, it will put black bars automatically around the notch, which is nice. Now let's talk about the performance on both these devices. Both the phones have adopted the Android One platform, which is quite a good strategy. You'll be getting Android updates on both these phones, so that is not a problem. So in terms of software, both phones are pretty amazing. But the performance is slightly different. The Mi A2 runs Snapdragon 660, which is clocked at 2.2 GHz, while the Nokia 6.1 Plus runs Snapdragon 636, which is clocked at 1.8 GHz. Both have an LPDDR4 RAM and an eMMC 5.1 storage. So there is slight difference in the chipsets of these two phones and you will see 
the repercussions of that in the loading of apps. You'll see the Mi A2 is slightly faster when it comes to app loading. The difference as you see is not major, but apps are loading faster on the Mi A2. Also when you're switching between apps, you'll see Mi A2 is slightly swift compared to the Nokia 6.1 plus. Again, the difference is not much. Now both phones run Android 8.1 Oreo and a cool feature of that is that as soon as you switch to a dark wallpaper, the theme of the phone is converted into a dark one. So the app drawer gets a dark background. The drop down menu also gets a dark background with white toggles and it looks pretty amazing. Now let's test the fingerprint scan unlock. The difference is marginal. It's nothing great, but if we had to nitpick the Mi A2 would be ahead in speed. Overall, if we talk about performance, the Mi A2 surely wins this round, but I think the Nokia 6.1 plus also made an intelligent decision by using Snapdragon 636. And I'll tell you why. There are two reasons for that. Because the Snapdragon 636 has a lower clock speed, you'll see that it doesn't heat up while gaming. And two, the battery consumption is also less. We found a Mi A2 would heat up more and would heat up earlier than the Nokia 6.1 plus. Now let's talk about the cameras on both the phones. Mi A2 has a 12 and 20 megapixel dual camera setup with f1.75 aperture on the primary camera, while the Nokia 6.1 Plus has a 16 plus 5 megapixel setup with f2.0 aperture on the main camera. From most of the camera samples we took from the phones, the Mi A2 turned out to be a clear winner. It captures not only better details, but more accurate colors too. And that is surprising because Mi A2 has lower resolution on its primary sensor. Dynamic range on both phones is nice, they're able to capture shadows and highlights well. But in HDR photos again, Mi A2 takes the lead with a sharper and more even rendering of the place, while the Nokia 6.1 Plus image appears slightly washed out. In low light as well, Mi A2 captures much sharper photos. You can easily find out from the colors of the flag that Mi A2 captures better details and overall a sharper photo. As for the front camera, Mi A2 wins again, though you would need to see it very closely to find that out. Mi A2 captures better details and more accurate colors. The Nokia 6.1 Plus images are slightly overprocessed, and the Mi A2 also has a front flash, so I could use it to cut out shadows on the right side of my face. Pretty cool. So overall, the Nokia 6.1 Plus seems to be a better overall package. It not only has a headphone jack, which the Mi A2 misses out on, but gives you better battery backup, a slightly sharper display, and a more ergonomic and premium look and feel. But you can also choose to pick up the Mi A2 if you want better cameras, better build quality overall, and a slightly faster performance. Do let us know which phone you would prefer to buy in comment section below. And if you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos on technology and smartphones like this. Thank you for watching.